Alright, so hello and welcome to the next episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode, I'm uh, going to be taking on some Imperial Dinner. Wow, that sounds fearsome foe. I'm going to take on Dinner, yes. Uh, this isn't actually going to be all that bad, to be honest. Because uh, there's really no way to get any of the really, really good rewards. The best that's really feasible while still maintaining an LLG uh, is the Imperial uh, Buffet, usually. I mean, Imperial Buffet, but um, Imperial Base. And I really can't do that here. You have to talk to 22 to the 24 soldiers to do that, and you have to be escaping two battles in the meantime. Or I can talk to the for all four battles and not talk to some moving soldiers, which are harder to talk to, but it, it's simply not going to happen. It's just uh, unrealistic. So instead, I'm not even going to try. The stuff, the Crudden Doma isn't worth anything, so... I'm not going to bother with that after all. Unlocking Sith figure wasn't worth anything either, but I couldn't avoid getting that if I wanted to, so... I'm just going to be spending the time to grab all the treasure instead. Save everyone some time. Save myself time grabbing it afterwards. Save you time watching me do it. That's if I make it through this Luck Reliant NPC part at the beginning and the end, which is, are both going to be a pain in the butt. Roommate's coming in. Hey! Hi. Do you have classes today? Um, yeah, I had one class. The other thing was a tutorial. Most of my classes are on Tuesday. Oh, okay. I'm actually recording a video right now, so. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry about that. It, no, it's alright. I just, uh, I'm still doing it in the meantime, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, so now hopefully I'm lined up with the staircase properly. That's one spot where NPCs can get my way. They can also get in my way a little bit earlier as well, but... Hopefully that didn't happen. So once I get all the way to the top, putting some extra safety on that in case Ben or Arvis gets in my way. Um, so yeah, hopefully I've reached the top by now. All the way to the left, tip this wall over here. So that I, thankfully the slot is right near the wall so I don't need to worry. Walk up through the slot, hit the bottom of the staircase area. Um, so yeah, I go left here, reach this wall, take two steps up to get onto the staircase. One, two, up the staircase. And now I should have a cutscene here if nothing went wrong. Sweet, nothing went wrong. Alright, I'm at the top now. Should be anyway. That guy uh, walks all the way into the door before I can go into the menu, I'm pretty sure, so... He's already all out of my way and free, I'm free and clear. Nothing here but to count steps. One, two... One, two, three, four, five. And I should be at the door here. Yep, went in the door. Surprised, I thought he'd it would be open after he goes in, but maybe not. There's door number two. So let's see what I'm in this cutscene here. Oh, not yet. Oh yeah, right, I have to talk to Gestalt to enter the cutscene, so it kind of doesn't work if I don't do that. Alright, so lots of door opening in this cutscene. They picked like the one time 
to actually implement the door noises when I'm going to be using the door noise later to tell when I'm out of the cutscene. I mean, I could just use the menu trick, but whatever. should have counted last time when I messed it up how many door noises were in the cutscene. Maybe I should count this time in case I mess up again. It's two. Definitely haven't left the cutscene yet. Three. So yeah, there's only three door noises in the cutscene. Alright, so now I'm up here. All the way to the left. Thankfully the uh, dips in the little side of the... Like, uh, in the walls here seem to line me up really nicely with the doors. Which is nice of them. Very kind. Alright. Treasure room one. Got a back guard. That'll be really nice. Because I don't have that much to equip that's useful in terms of relics when I'm walking around, so. I'll also get a Gale hairpin here. And that exits the room. Walk up the staircase. All the way up. All the way to the right. Here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not just gonna mash the button here because uh, if I do, I might accidentally talk to that one soldier who is a douche and tries to fight me. Then I'd have to go and collect all the treasure afterwards, which would be a pain. Probably talked for long enough here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One step back, hopefully no, no one got my way during that part. Okay, there's my door. Back to the left, down the staircase, well, down the staircase now, down to the staircase I guess I should have said at this door. All the way to the right. Don't want to talk to Kefka, that would put me in a mess. Into this door. Up the staircase. Into both doors. Got two more treasures to get here. I forgot my route here. Darn it, that's an important one too. I'm on a time limit too, so I can't just random this out. Nice, got it. If I miss the Revivify, I don't care. That was pure luck, because I was just mashing the button there, and I just happened to run into it. Two, into the doorway. All the way to the right. There's my Revivify. Alright, I can go to the washroom or something. Yay! More maturity to go with my flipping the switches. <laughs> just in time, wow. That was close. I can just match through this cutscene. 
because I'm not aiming for anything, I don't have to go through the tedium of selecting all my options correctly. The only thing I have to watch out for is that eventually when I'm asking questions, I have to bother to tab out of that. I'll just mash the button in for a while until I think I'm there. Which is obviously going to have some safety on that too. This cutscene is long though, really long. He goes blabbing first, and he asks a few questions, and he asks me to ask questions. This is supposed to be a dinner, just shut your yap and eat. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll grab a, grab a glass of water or something. Okay, so hopefully I'm there now. Do this a few times. Alright, so hopefully that should be enough. Hopefully I should be menu checking soon when I uh, say yes to taking a break. Either that or I happen to say no to taking a break, which is also possible, but... probably He was probably getting really annoyed that I was... There we go. Alright, take one step right out of my chair, take one step left into my chair, and hmm. It's weird. Okay, I'm not entering my menu anymore. I must have messed something up. Not 100% sure what it is. Maybe I didn't press the button hard enough when I took a step left or something. See, so, uh, now I just wait for the music to cue my exit from Vector. Boy, this is going to be super long when I have to select all the options properly. I've really got my work cut out for me in the Brave New World segment. So I'm pretty much out of here now, but there's still stuff that can go wrong because I've got to go through heavy NPCville again, so, and there's such wide distances, nothing's, they can walk just about anywhere, so, and no way I can cover it in straight lines, Pokemon Iceland style. Alright, have I made it to the end yet? No. Oh, whoops. I forgot I have to walk down to activate the cutscene where I get stuff, or rather, in this case, don't get stuff. Now I can spend my time walking down to the bottom. There's door number one. I don't know why I bothered to check that. <laughs> the last door should have been a good enough indicator of where I was. Down the staircase. Down to the bottom. 
all the way to the right left side and now this is uh, that's obviously where I messed it up in one of my bloopers where I forgot to check the second half of the segment again did that again where I was so focused on a hard part in the center that I just totally neglected th that part after it although of course in this case it ended up being not too difficult but uh, that's just how things happen to work out alright right one down one now right to the wall and this lines me up with the slot in the other direction Did, I really didn't need to walk that far no need to put safety on that, there's no NPCs but now we get lots of NPCs and now Sabin's also walking around out here trying to troll me but since I'm walking straight down past him as long as I put enough safety on it, this should be perfectly fine. Unless if they're just going out of their way to mess with me as much as possible. It's the next eight steps that are most likely to throw me off. I'm going to do left and downs here instead of just walking straight left, just in case uh, one of them gets in my way and starts walking back and forth. That seems to happen a lot, but if I walk down, hopefully I should prevent, be slightly more likely to prevent errors. Alright, let's start trying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now crossing my fingers that I lined myself up properly there. Other than mashing the button and trying to menu trick every single step, there's not much way to make this reliable. But Pressing the button could send me min mixed singles as well, so it's not very useful to boot. Because I could take one step left and then... Well, I guess maybe, maybe I could practice that for the exiting on the Brave New World segment, because it's not so bad restarting on the walk in, but if I do everything correctly and then mess it out on the walk out, that would really suck. I'm going to walk all the way to the right, because this gets me away from all the NPCs. I... Uh, if I do manage to get all the uh, people talk to in Brave New World and then manage to not mess up the banquet, I really don't want to have the run fail just due to complete luck. Down one, around this bend. Now I walk all the way over here. This is a bit of a roundabout route here, but... It shortens the luck reliant parts as much as humanly possible, and that's really what I want. All the way down. Alright, so now I should be at the front side of Vector pretty much at the end, but now I need to walk left all the way until I get in front of this building here. Unfortunately, the rubble's blocking my way out now, so it becomes a lot harder to exit. Otherwise, I'd just be able to walk straight down, but... Stupid espers, next time you jo destroy a city, please make sure to scatter all the rubble in places that will help me navigate. Thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. All the way down, run into the rubble here. Pretty sure this is the last little bit of luck reliance. Gotta go left and up. Oh man, that's not good. Just gonna go down and right in the hopes now of uh, happening to exit. Perhaps if I just go alternating between down and right for a while and alternating 
with down and left for a while, I'll be able to exit just through sheer luck. Well, down and left after all. However, if things don't work out that way, I'm definitely going to be stuck. It's enough that way. Nice, there we go. That's good. Good to know that that at least has some chance of working out, even if the NPCs mess me up. Save the game and done.